The pace of innovation happening right now in AI software development is insane. One of the latest tools is called Bolt.new and lets you create applications through prompting, but also uses AI to figure out commands, run a test server, and let you preview the application in real time, all in your web browser. And then when you're happy, you can just one-click deploy. In this video, I'll show you Bolt.new and give you some tips on getting the most out of their free tier which I'll talk about it more later in the video. Okay, let's head over to bolt.new and I'll put a link in the description. The easiest way to log in would be to use your GitHub account and then it seamlessly just logs you in. And what I'm gonna ask it to do is build a landing page for a product I've been thinking about for a few years. I've just never had the time to do it. I love dogs, but the one thing I've never been able to find is a really high quality collar that has an AirTag holder and a custom engraved dog tag, all nicely integrated into one collar. So it actually looks nice. Okay, so let's paste in our prompt here and let's let it start building. And then as it does that, I'll, I'll explain some of the keys for this prompt. So here you see it's making the code. So let me go back up. Um, it starts off with create a sleek modern landing page for a premium dog collar business using Next.js and ShadCN UI components. I'm gonna use ShadCN, which has become really popular lately. And it's really a collection of reusable components that you can build a UI with. So they're ready-made, customizable, and they'll save you a ton of time. And they work really well with an AI system like this. And I'm saying Next.js because Next.js is a React-based framework, but it also has server-side rendering. So it's really good for search engine optimization or SEO, which is really important on an e-commerce product like I'm trying to build here. And then from there, I talk about the components. So I say make a header component, a hero section component, a feature section component, etc. So just laying out all the features I want and all the sections I want. After that, I give it design, some design guidelines, just telling it what color schemes wouldn't make sense. Telling it I want to use Tailwind CSS to style my Shad C and components. Also, I want some additional features like independent lazy loading for images to improve performance. And I wanted to include schema markup for improved SEO. Okay, so that took about four minutes. And let's see what it built for us. But first, this is a really cool feature in Bolt. You see here, it says Bolt and Terminal. And the Bolt, that's when it automatically runs commands. So in this case, as soon as it built it, it automatically ran an NPM install, and then it ran an NPM run dev. And then if we do changes to the future that need new packages, for example, it would automatically bring those packages in. So it's kind of like you're building on your own little server here, right inside your browser. Okay, so let's look at the code itself. So first thing you'll probably notice is it's really well laid out. So it's broken down to components and each one's named correctly, very straightforward. If you look at the page, it just shows your hero component, your features component, etc. So this is a really good starting point. The other thing is, use that Shad CN that we talked about to bring in all these UI components. So these are all the components now you can use in your application. And you can see them here, there's the buttons, for example, look pretty good. And then when you ask the AI to do changes, it's gonna look through all these UI components and then pick them from here. So for example, if you wanted a chart, it would find the chart component and use this. So the page itself is pretty simple. Although the background image, I wouldn't use this for my actual product. It is actually nice colors and it's a dog there. So I got that part right. So it's a good example of what it could be. It's got a nice simple features section. And then if we go down to our premium colors, the carousel actually works. So we can actually tweak this from here, put our real pictures of our product in here. But the fact that we have a working carousel is a really nice start. Then if we look down at our testimonials component, again, it's, it's nicely laid out. It just looks good, looks simple, basic. You got the dogs there. You got some nice custom reviews that's put in there. This is the kind of website I like. It's just nice and simple. Everything works, everything's clean. So you built the footer for you and all the links work back up to the rest of the page. So a decent start. I think the fact that it used Next.js and ShadCN gives you a really good foundation to build on from here. So let's just try to make some changes to it though. So I'm gonna say, let's add dark and light mode with toggle. Another cool thing it does is it does a hot reload. So it's just making these changes now as it goes through these files and changes them. Every time it saves a file, it recompiles here. So we can see the changes right away. So there we go, it's added a dark mode and we switch to a light mode. We can say system too, and that's dark right now. And then when you're happy with it, you're ready to deploy. You just click on the deploy button up here. And now we can see down here, it's running NPX next build which is actually creating an optimized production build. And it's gonna take this and deploy it to Nellify automatically. And then we can see it on Nellify, it works perfect. So I think Bolt is the first software development AI tool that I've used that I could actually see someone who has no idea about coding, no experience at all, actually building something half decent. So that's a big step forward. Under the hood, this is using the Anthropic Claude 3.5 Sonnet model, which a lot of these tools are. One problem I'm seeing though, is we have so many of these tools coming out and what tends to happen is the word gets out that it's really good. A bunch of people flood in, start using it. Then they have to reduce their free tier because it gets slow and there's just, and they're just using too many API credits and they're gonna go bankrupt if they don't. And then they always have to give you a premium option. It seems to always be $20 a month for some reason. So you saw this with WebSim. You saw the same thing with Cursor AI to some extent, which is an AI code editor. So I'm not sure if Bolt's gonna be the next big thing or not. 
But what I do know is there's a lot of momentum right now in this, and this shows you what's possible. And Claude's due to release Claude Opus 3.5, which should be even better than Sonnet 3.5. So that's what I'm waiting to see. But it's really exciting times right now. So if you want to keep up on AI for business and AI software development, all that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll talk to you in the next one.